Good Tuesday, everyone. Nate Trowball back with you today for our Tuesday, December 3rd edition of the Five Star News. And we here at the show hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. I know I sure did. Time now to get back into the swing of school things, and we'll ease all you students right back into our first segment of December. It's What's Up Heritage, and it's brought to you by our very own Levi Wilson. What's Up Heritage? I'm Levi Wilson. I'm here to bring you three big announcements, followed by this week's weather forecast. There will be a basketball game at home versus Silverdale later today. JV boys will play at 4.30, varsity boys at 6, and varsity girls at 7.30. Come on down and support our Heritage basketball teams. Heritage High School will be recognized for being a Georgia math leader in schools in a special ceremony at the HHS Theater on Monday, December 9th at 2 p.m. During this event, Superintendent Woods will personally present each school with the respected GADOE Math Leader Award. The journalism staff is running their annual homecoming yearbook sale. Purchase previous year's books at a discounted price, including their 2324 book, Make Your Purchase in Mr. Peace's Room, number 1218, or at the front office with cash or check made out to HHS yearbook. Now, on to the weather forecast. Tuesday, we have a high of 41, a low of 22, and a 4% chance of rain. Wednesday, we have a high of 52, a low of 41, and a 3% chance of rain. Thursday, we have a high of 45, a low of 21, and a 15% chance of rain. Friday, we have a high of 41, a low of 25, and a 0% chance of rain. And Saturday, we have a high of 50, a low of 31, and a 22% chance of rain. Thanks for that info, Levi. To the news now, in the first week of December is always huge here at Heritage, but the biggest reason is the annual fundraiser held by the Student Government Association. It's called the SGA Christmas Mystery Raffle Box. Now, if that don't get you interested, let's find out more about it in this report. SGA is currently doing their annual Mystery Christmas Raffle. They are selling tickets from today, December 2nd, through December 18th. So you have lots of time to buy a ticket. Tickets are $1 each, and we are raffling off some pretty big prizes. So if you buy a raffle ticket for one dollar you could end up with a really 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 great presence in the past we have raffled off things like an xbox an ipad um, apple watches so we've given away some really big things as well as some really great smaller items as well that go into those boxes all of the money that we raise during this christmas raffle is donated to the catoosa county children's fund so we're going to take all the money that we raised during the emperor campaign which is over sixteen thousand dollars we're going to combine it with what we make during this christmas raffle and we're going to write the catoosa county children's fund a big fat check which will help kids all over catoosa county so we're really excited about that um, Hopefully we'll have some pictures of the mystery gifts coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, find you any SGA rep, buy yourself a ticket. And if you can't find an SGA rep, you can come find me, you can find Miss Gray, or you can find Miss Hillary Wilson, and we'll sell you tickets as well. So be on the lookout, get yourself a ticket, and hopefully you can run a really cool Christmas present. Um, so every year our school, uh, the SGA students, we give a, a Christmas raffle and we sell tickets for $1 to all of the faculty and students and anyone else who wants to buy a ticket. And we um, give these out and we collect money from them. They're a dollar each and um, all of our proceeds go to the Children's Fund. And um, we sell them to anyone, anyone who wants a ticket and it's just for a good cause. Now into the anchors for more news. Thanks, Nate, and that's always a great fundraiser. Coach Green here now, and I'm here to tell you about our state champion girls softball team. They're still making news even though their season ended just over a month ago. You heard the announcement about Coach Crawford being named the NFHS Coach of the Year for the state of Georgia. Well, if that wasn't big enough news, listen to this. Catoosa County School Superintendent Chance Nix was on hand just before Thanksgiving break to provide the girls with lunch and a superintendent's medal. Let's find out more about it in this report. I want to say thank you to you guys. I want to say thank you to the folks who are representing the uh, County Office of the Board of Education. I appreciate all of your support. Uh, coaches? This program every year, that's the goal, is to be in Columbus on that Saturday competing for a state championship. So, so celebrate the uh, state championship again. Uh, so our fifth in school history and our second in the last, or back-to-back -back actually, last year and this year. So it's like, kind of like, yeah, ho-hum. Oh, oh. You know, it's kind of boring now. Megan's all bored with winning. Uh, but they've been, I mean, the, the, the program in general has been incredible the, for the entirety of the time that school's been open. We've had some really good players and some unbelievable coaches. They just deserve it. Uh, it's truly a dynasty. As I told the ladies, it's so difficult to win a state championship. Uh, I mean, it is a huge, huge accomplishment. So on behalf of 
uh, the Board of Education and uh, myself and Heritage and uh, all, all of the stakeholders and folks uh, in the community that love and support this team. Uh, I just want to wish you guys a huge uh, congratulations. What you've done is amazing. And I want you to know as your superintendent, I am so, so very proud of you. You guys are amazing. You are true champions. You uh, don't just play like champions, but you live like champions. And you represent all the wonderful things that Heritage High School and Catoosa County Public Schools is super proud to be a part of. So congratulations. When you have the superintendent, like Mr. Nix and, um, and the board members coming over to celebrate their success, it makes us feel pretty good because it makes look makes us feel like people, other people notice the hard work they're putting into and the investment and the time and, and energy they're putting into it. So it's, it's, and it's awesome. We, this is a great way to, that we uh, like to celebrate teams because it's difficult for folks sometimes to make it to board meetings. Our boardroom is a little small for huge teams anyway. And uh, the girls love, uh, and the guys too, for some Chick-fil-A. And uh, I'll provide everyone with a superintendent's medal uh, just as a recognition of their achievement and uh, they get to wear that at graduation and keep it with them, you know, ho hopefully uh, right up there beside that state championship ring. And so uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Thank you to the board for providing uh, lunch for everybody. And uh, this is just a great opportunity and experience for everyone. Congrats to all the coaches and players. Steven Solomon here now, and I'm going to let you know about a huge accomplishment by our math department. HHS was notified just before the Thanksgiving break that our school has been recognized as one of only four Catoosa County schools as math leaders by the Georgia Department of Education. What's that mean for our school and department? We talked to some staff and students to find out more. Good morning, Heritage. Welcome back from Thanksgiving. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about our recent award we got from the state of Georgia. Uh, we were recognized as an outstanding achievement in mathematics for the high school level for the area of high school growth. Um, which is a pretty, pretty big honor in the state. Uh, the state superintendent, Richard Woods, will be coming to Heritage on Monday, December 9th to acknowledge uh, this award. Several of the schools in the county uh, got it, but um, you know, we're pretty proud of our, of our math department, our math teachers and students, and, and for the successes that they have uh, shown with this award. Uh, state superintendent will be here. I think he's actually going to land a helicopter maybe, uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Maybe that will happen. Um, if not, it's still an honor to have the state superintendent come to Heritage High School and acknowledge the hard work of our students, teachers, and everyone involved in the math department. So congratulations and uh, go Generals. Um, of course, we're, we always know that we go to a school that has great teachers in Catoosa County, but to be honored with an award that we like are achieving success at Heritage, it's always great to hear something like that as a student because you know you're getting the education that you want and uh, crave um, and then we're also being given opportunities like the math competition that we're participating in and so these teachers are really going out of their way to uh, pave a road for us to have success in our life. So the math department worked really hard to help our Algebra 1 students do great on the EOC and most of them came back saying it was very easy and they felt well prepared and our results showed because the state superintendent is coming to Heritage High School next week to congratulate our school for an improvement in growth scores. Congrats math department. Nate back now just in time to throw this bad boy to commercial break. But don't go away or you'll miss an exciting sporting event and some of Heritage students' favorite parts of Thanksgiving break. Boys and girls basketball up and running and we'll have some entertainment stories as well. Stay with us. Sports is next. I had a really good Thanksgiving break. Thursday I had was busy all day and just ate a bunch of food. And then Friday I went Black Friday shopping, got me some good deals. So I had a really good weekend. I came to school for basketball and we had basketball games throughout the week in practice. And my favorite food is mac and cheese. Uh, my Thanksgiving was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I got to eat a insane amount of food, uh, especially the mac and cheese my sister made. It was absolutely delicious. It's been feeding me for the past like four days or something. Um, you know, I, I had a great time. I won a board game against my grandfather, my uncle, my dad. It was just overall it was a great time and I had a lot of fun. Thanksgiving for the Parkers looked a little different this year. We typically go out of town for Thanksgiving, but this year we had to stay home. So Thanksgiving Day we went and saw Moana 2. It was not as good as the first one. I think that's an unpopular opinion. Um, and then this yesterday we went to the Falcons game. And my favorite Thanksgiving food is... 
Probably sweet potato casserole. This Thanksgiving break, I ate a lot of food and hung out with family. This Thanksgiving break, I ate a lot of food and watched the Georgia Tech game. Over the break, I did a number of things, but probably um, the highlight of the break was when Seabolt and I took a pottery class together. Um, we made some bowls and plates, um, and surprisingly, Seabolt was very gifted. I did not realize what an artist he is. Um, in addition to that, um, my square dancing troupe, we competed in the Hee Haw Classic, took second place. Um, we'll get him next year. My favorite food, hmm. I'm gonna say probably the ribeye steak. Welcome into sports, everyone. Gage from Ruby Wilson here now, and we are talking basketball. Yes, we are, and our boys and girls team got off to a pretty good start over this Thanksgiving break. Yep, the girls took two out of three games in their tournament, and then followed that up with a big road win at LFO. Sure did, and the boys were undefeated over the original tournament until falling short to the Warriors on Saturday. We talked to some players and coaches to get their reactions. Let's find out. I thought the Thanksgiving tournament went really well. It's always fun to play that term over at Ridgeland. They do a good job of putting that tournament on and uh, gives us a chance to get out there and play a few games before the region uh, season gets started. And I thought we played really well. The first game, uh, Murray's a good team, and, and we handled them pretty easily. We, we shot the ball well. We, we took care of their zone defense, which has been a problem to us in the past, and we got a big win there. And then on the last game, East Hamilton, of course, Deb got hurt in the first like minute or two of the game, and that was a huge blow to us, losing him for the season with a broken leg. And uh, we just had to suspend that game. So it was kind of a weird deal. Everybody was kind of torn up about it and still are. So that was a disappointing uh, thing that happened to our team over the break. Uh, the Lakeview game was pretty tough. They were pretty good. We hung with them for about three quarters, maybe a little less than that. And then their size kind of got to us a little bit, and we struggled to score in the last quarter. Um, I feel like we need to work on um, hitting the easy shots. We hit the easy shots. It's a totally different game. Um, and we also just got to communicate on defense better, on help defense, and just in general, just all around defense. And then the LFO game, um, I thought we played pretty well the LFO game. We just didn't hit um, the easy shots. We got open looks and everything, but we can work on that. So next time we play LFO, it should be a different story. And they ended up beating us by about 15, I think it was 17 actually, 62 to 45. Uh, but the, the guys fought hard, but they just kind of ran out of steam there in the, in the fourth quarter. So we got a little, little bit better job of uh, finishing games. I thought we had them on the ropes there, and then they pushed that lead out there a little bit and kind of took over the game and took control. Uh, tonight against Silverdale, we, we faced them twice last year, and they beat us uh, both times pretty easily. Uh, they're big too, so it's going to be another challenge with size for us, which without Deb, that's going to probably be a challenge for us the rest of the year. So the guys got to come together, play as a team, and work really hard on defense to kind of slow them down. Their record's not good. It's one in three, but I've watched them a couple of games. They're pretty good, so it's going to be tough for us. Uh, we hope we can do it. It'll be our first home game, so we're looking forward to playing in front of the, the home crowd and the students and hopefully get back on the winning track. We've played four games in the past week and we're three and one. We've played well. We have some things that we need to work on, but we've done the little things and we play Silverdale today and I feel like these past games are going to help us out with that. He's been playing uh, Murray in the Ridgeland tournament. Uh, really good team. Um, pretty loaded from, from the roster wise, top to bottom. So played well in the second half. You know, there was a little bit of a hole in the first half. Um, they shot the ball well in the first half, so we had to kind of dig ourselves out. So I liked our defense in the second half, and we got back in the game on that end of the floor and made it a game in the second half. And I think we ended up losing by six or seven. Um, so the second game was Gordon Lee uh, at Ridgeland, and that was um, we played, we improved, we played better, um, and, and got the win against those guys. And we um, won our third game against East Hamilton in the Ridgeland tournament. And then uh, on the road to LFO on Saturday to end the break. Um, not our best evening. We ended up winning the game by, I think, three. But it was a kind of touch and go there for a little bit. Uh, got in a six, six point hole in the fourth quarter, fought our way back. Proud of that effort down the stretch, last three minutes. So this week coming up is a huge week for us uh, in so many ways. Tomorrow we start with um, Silverdale on Tuesday. 
uh, which is in a, a home, our first home game. So everybody come out and support if you can. Really good basketball team. Um, tough matchup. Coach uh, Underwood does a good job with those guys. Andrew Romero and Mason Davis here. The Heritage Generals went down to Savannah and to take on some tough competition in the Thanksgiving duel. We'll see how it turned out. The Heritage Wrestling team, we traveled down to South Effingham for the Turkey Duels, and it was a very tough tournament. We had uh, state level teams there, uh, including two time state champion South Effingham. Uh, overall, we went two and three there with the competition being so high. Uh, we were also missing missing a couple of guys out of the lineup, which affected us. Uh, but uh, we ended up uh, having a good match with uh, Screven County and also with uh, Effingham County. So we uh, uh, the other t matches were a little bit closer, although our match with uh, South Effingham uh, was like 62 to 12. So uh, they they were a very strong team and. Uh, pointed out some of our weaknesses. So we have things we're going to work on. Uh, some individual standouts, though. Uh, we went to, uh, we had uh, Asher K. He went four and one with two pins. Jonathan Arhart, he went three and two with one pin. Tyler Ward went two and one with a pin. And Jackson Grant went four and one with a pin. And Hunter Baker went five and oh with four pins. And our girls that we had down there, uh, Hadley Akers, she went two and oh with two pins. Addison Stedman went two and oh with two pins. Uh, Kimmy Prince went one and zero with a pin, and Paula Pinkert went one and one. So uh, we're proud of them. They they stepped up and did well. Our next match is going to be at at Dade County, and uh, that's on Thursday. And we're going to uh, you know uh, hopefully wrestle some other teams while we're there. So I think we should have a a, a good event. Uh, we'll see how it goes when we come, when uh, Thursday rolls around. What's going on, Generals? I'm Talon DeFour, and welcome back to Five Star Pick'ems. Since it was a very long week last week, we had to cover two games, so it's going to be an even longer recap. For our first game, we had Ohio State versus Indiana, which ended in 35-15 to for Ohio State. Go Buckeyes. And the Gators slayed the Rebels 24-17. to Now, since we were on fall or Thanksgiving break, we also had uh, rivalry week. So first we had an eight-overtime stunner with Georgia taking down Georgia Tech 44 to 42 in eight overtimes, which is only second to Penn State versus Illinois, which took nine. After that, we had Tennessee versus Vandy. Tennessee mopped the floor with the Commodores 36 to 23. And the game, Michigan versus Ohio State, Michigan narrowly comes away with a 13 10 win, which now we're going to end it with Texas versus Texas A&M, which ended in 17 7. I ended. Now into the standings. Lucas Henson went 5 and 1. Debbie went 5 and 1. Get well soon, buddy. Miss Hobbs went four and two. Sammy went four and two. Cooper Chapelier went four and two. Connor Cooper went three and three. I don't know if we're going to keep him. And Nicholas Alejandro, who <laughs> no, <laughs> went three and three. And Coach Green has finally gone. His reign of tyranny is over. He went two and four. That's what you get for Bandy over Tennessee. Go Vols. Hey guys, I'm Connor Sparks. And for next week's games, we're going to do all six conference championship games. For the first game, we got number 8 SMU versus number 18 Clemson. For the second game, number 5 Georgia versus number te 2 Texas. For the third game, number 1 Oregon versus number 3 Penn State. For the fourth game, we got Navy versus Tulane, both unranked. Fifth game, 10 Boy State versus number 19 UNLV. And then for the sixth game, number 12 Arizona State versus number 16 Iowa State. Now for the upsets. For the upsets from this week, Syracuse beat Miami 42-38, Oklahoma beat Bama 24-3, and Auburn beat Texas A&M 43-41. I'm Levi Wilson, this is Daily Dose of Joy, let's go find out what people are happy about at Heritage today. What's your name? What are you happy about today? My name is Brayden Downey, and I'm happy that I have someone to care for me, aka my girlfriend. What's your name? What are you happy about today? Cadence Thompson and seeing Alex Dye on Sunday. What's your name? What are you happy about today? 
I'm Jordan Gentry, and I'm really excited to go and hang out with friends later. What's your name? What are you happy about today? Uh, my name is Jackson. I am happy about like being able to play with our basketball players in the team. Knowledge of Tristan back in the cut. We have yet another edition of Test Your Knowledge coming your way. Yep, and who comes out on top? Roll the tape. Alright, so the first question I have is, who wrote the play Romeo and Juliet? Shakespeare. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, no. Have, what is the chemical symbol for gold? Oh, I should know this. I should too. Uh, CO2. That's carbon dioxide. <laughs> that's yeah. not... <laughs> Starts with an A. A. You. you got it. Oh my God. Okay, the third question I have, what is the capital city of Japan? Tokyo. Yeah. Okay, I already got that one. Yeah. So the first question I have, which planet is closest to the sun? Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Starts with an M. Mercury. What is, the, what is the largest desert in the world? Sahara. For the third question I have, who is the first president of the United George States? George Washington. Yes. Okay, guys, that wraps up this week's edition of Test Your Knowledge. Tune in next week for the next edition. Until then, I'm Knowledge Barnes, and I'm out. Welcome back to Kicking It with Kelsey. We're going to see what you students like today. Who am I here with? Hunter Zanatti. Where's your favorite place to get pizza? Uh, Domino's. Why? I don't know. I just like it better than any other places. We found one more room in the halls. What's your name? You are. What's, where's your favorite place to go get pizza? Uh, Raphael's. Why? It's good. Found one more room in the hall. Who am I here with? Jordan Gentry. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? That'd have to be last year's Christmas gift, which was the permission and money to decorate my own room. Oh, okay. Okay, what's your favorite color? Blue. Why? Just a good color. Just a good color? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite color? Uh, red. Why? Because it looks good. All right. And then what's your favorite color? Yellow. My favorite color is yellow. Why? It's just so bright and happy. There you have it. Okay. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Uh, um, I'd probably say my truck. Your truck? Yeah. All right. There you have it. And then what's the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Uh, an Xbox. What kind of Xbox? Series S. All right. There you have it. And then what's the best place to go to get pizza? Oh, there's a lot of great pizza places, but um, there's one in downtown Blue Ridge that I really like. Okay. All right. There you have it. That's all we have for this Tuesday edition of the Five Star News. Come back on Friday for a brand new report. But until then, have a great week. And as always, stay classy, Heritage. Mm -hmm.